there is evidence that the nation is not at ease. The nation has not been at ease since COVID-19 was declared a pandemic. But the uneasiness of uh, the nation is compounded by the very toxic politics. I, like all Kenyans, recently witnessed the arrest of senators. And I asked myself, these are Kenyans, these are lawmakers. If they have committed any offense known to law, why do you arrest them at an ungodly hour and do so in a manner that is clearly designed to humiliate them? And once they are arrested, the charges that are then preferred against them are so minuscule that you wonder what the drama was all about. So, or do you think the executive is trying to undermine the other arms of the government? Perhaps the word undermine is not the word that I would myself use. What I see is a lack of collaborative effort. The entire system of government that is contemplated and prescribed under our constitution is designed to work seamlessly. And I'll give you a few examples. On the question of the appointment of 41 judges who whom the president has refused to swear in, I do not understand why that should even be a conflict. It tells me that there is something that is happening either because of personal chemistry, I do not know, and I do not want to go into the arena of speculation. So um, the other day we saw that the deputy president um, in a certain function, he said he's ready to tackle the deep state uh, according to him and the system. So um, according to you, do you think there's something like deep state or the system? And if there is, who are they and what kind of, of influence do they have in our country? If there is anything called